They thought they had Christ in their grasp. They thought they could do with him as they pleased. Thus did they mutilate him and nail him to the cross. They laughed as he promised his vengeance would fall upon them. But he stayed true to his words. The earth they trod upon ran red with blood. The cities they resided in were engulfed by flames. Having witnessed their defeat, they hid amidst the faithful. They thought they would be safe. They were mistaken. Ever steadfast inquisitors, masters at discerning subtleties and signs, followed their trail. With the words of the scripture, did they convert the heretics? With fire, did they cleanse the witches? By their hands were the deceitful vampires impaled. In the name of Christ and for his eternal glory! Welcome to Königstein, Master Inquisitor. My name's Bertram, the Guard Captain. Mortimer Maladine, licensed Inquisitor, in service to the Bishop of Hez Hezram. The Holy Office informed us of your arrival. I must admit that I'm surprised by the purpose of this visit. I don't believe there's a vampire lurking in Königstein. There hasn't been a recorded sighting of one in these parts for what must have been a century. That doesn't mean there isn't one here. Fair enough. That's why my men and I will do our best to assist you. As far as we are able to, of course. Thank you, Captain. I'm just following the mayor's orders, so it's him you should be thanking, not me. If you wish to express your gratitude personally, go to the fair. He's attempting to raise funds there today. My men will show you the way. Now, please excuse me. I need to check on the outposts at the other gates. You were right. He's an Inquisitor. I told you. I spotted the Inquisitor's insignia right away. Only they can wear those. Bloody dog catcher. <laughs> Quiet, fool. Or you'll bring trouble on our heads. What did you call me? Uh, uh, he meant no offense, Master. He doesn't think that at all. Those who disrespect an Inquisitor, disrespect the Holy Office. Your commander will hear of this. He will administer your punishment. Don't do it, Master. The captain will throw me out of the guard. I beg you, have mercy. Why, isn't today a celebration of Christ triumphant? Jesus teaches us not to forgive those who trespass against us. Please. I'll do anything for you. Anything? I swear by the broken cross. The captain mentioned there's a fair currently being held in town. Where exactly? In the town square. You can't miss it, master. But be wary of ruffians. 
then sons of whores are always lurking near the stands. Do you know anything about a vampire? One is supposedly lurking around these parts. I haven't heard anything. How about you? Me neither. Um, what's gonna happen to me? I'll find you. Should the need arise. Then we shall see the value of your oath. For ruthlessness in fighting my enemies, I thank thee, Lord. Today 
we celebrate Christ's triumphant However, one shouldn't ignore an opportunity for a conversation with God when faced with such. Offer, please, and be grateful for the gifts you receive. O oh Lord, protect me from Light getting into the ceremony. Light the candle. Today we celebrate Christ's triumphant to his vengeful. Fill my heart with the desire for vengeance. He stole my shirt skin. It hood got away. So be it. I'll get him some other time.
Forgive me, Master Inquisitor, but some sacks have fallen off our wheelbarrow. We must clear them away. So the passage will be blocked for a while. Are you using your fists instead of brooms? You mean this? <laughs> it's nothing, just a friendly scuffle. If you're going to the fair, the main street is the fastest route. Devils who don't shy away from a challenge. A tournament is being held to win the favor of the queen of last year's Mama's Parade. The winner will have the honor of entertaining the beautiful Liliana during the Mama's Parade, which will begin tomorrow after the Vespers service, as is customary. Anyone can try their luck. The entry fee is but one silver angel. Reach into your purses. The collected funds will go toward building a new monument to Christ triumphant. One majestic enough to eclipse that piece of trumpery from Schwebus. Well, well. The Inquisitor himself graces us with his presence. I'm happy to see you, Master. I am Guido von Herzen, the town's mayor. It is nice to meet you, Mayor. What is your name, Master? Mortimer Maradine. Mortimer. I'll be sure to remember that. Emissaries of the Holy Office rarely visit us. I do hope that Captain Bertram gave you a proper welcome. He's a soldier through and through. He can come off as blunt and boorish, but I've yet to meet a better soldier. His behavior was befitting of a guard commander. He brought you no shame. Excellent. I'll gladly speak to you later, but now I must attend to a certain matter. And the tournament, of course. I only wish to thank you for offering assistance in catching the vampire. If you truly wish to thank me, take part in the tournament. You'll be mixing business with pleasure. I shouldn't waste time on idle merriment. Although, since the Monument to Christ Triumphant is at stake, add my name to the list. I'm so happy. The other contestants looked insufferably boring, but you're something else. I noticed it immediately. Well, I'm far from ordinary. You'll be the king of the Mama's Parade, which necessitates that you wear the proper attire. Not far from here, there's a merchant who deals in fancy clothing. Buy a costume from him, even if it's only a mask. Meanwhile, I'll attend to my errands. I will see you later. Upon reaching Golgotha, the centurion in command of the legionnaires gazed upon Jesus and said, Hop up onto the cross I've set up for you! Jesus obeyed the command, as he didn't want the centurion's work to have been for naught. However, his time upon the cross was brief. It's pretty uncomfortable up here. He longed for his freedom, so he broke the patibulum and leapt to the ground. You destroyed my beautiful cross! Woe upon you! The centurion threw himself at the Messiah, sword in hand. But Jesus did not allow him to strike. 
He who raises the cross dies by the cross. He seized the broken arm of the cross and struck first. Ah, Emperor Tiberius became wroth upon learning that. He decided to deal with Christ personally. You killed my loyal servant. It'll cost you your head. That I swear. Here's my payment. Jesus snatched the Centurion's sword and cut off Tiberius's head. Thus, both and payment of one head. The Emperor is dead. Long live Jesus triumphant, our Lord and everlasting King. And that is how Christ claimed the throne of the Emperor. Finally, an opponent. I was starting to put down roots. Repeat that! You are supposed to guard. Again! Good! Again. Une sacrée bleue. Enough. Time for real combat. Merde. I rarely meet my betters. You've given me a valuable lesson. Thank you. Thank you. 
same punk on right. Ruffian! He went there! He stole my purse! The little snot reeks of rotten fish. Than perfume made me lose the scent. Did he get rid of the stench? Got you. It's not him. Show me what's in your hand first. I saw you take it from a town person's cart. It's just an apple. What's your name? And where are your parents? I'm Amelia. And my parents and siblings are dead. They all died two years ago from the plague of pox. So, who looks after you now? Nobody. I don't need anyone looking after me. I can look after myself. By stealing. I was hungry. You won't fill your belly with just anything. What are you gonna do with me? Hand me over to the guards? Give the apple back and be off. Just don't tell anyone you stole it. It would be better if you said it fell from his car. Off you go then. I need your fill.
guess the town's treasury must be empty if you have to raise funds personally. <laughs> no, Master Metadeen, it's not as bad as that. The holiday tournament and fundraiser are simply old customs. Sadly, citizens of Königstein are beginning to suffer from poverty. There are fewer and fewer daredevils willing to join in the revelry. And this year, our goal is a lofty one indeed. However, I'm not certain if the funds we raise will be enough to achieve it. Surely the Cardinal will boast your finances. After all, we're talking about building a monument to Christ triumphant. Oh, I wish I could believe that. Unfortunately, His Eminence considers generosity on par with wastefulness. Hey, children, have you heard any rumors about a vampire? A vampire? What's that? It's a monster. Granny said it has long fangs and can fly. Andy likes to drink blood. Blood? Why blood? To, to live a long time. So... Maybe my grandpa is a vampire? He... He's got to be a hundred years old. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You have to pick up the pail? Move it to the end of the white line in a vertical position. And then place it in the hole that's been made there. If you drop the pail on your way there, you'll have to start again from the beginning. Fuck's sake. Do not fret, Master. Try again. You seem to be short on strength. Left home without breakfast, did you? Finally.
Inquisitor. Welcome, Master Inquisitor. How can I be of service? Inquisitor? Well, we're colleagues, then. Name's Roland. Master Executioner. What about Matadine? Licensed Inquisitor. In service to the Bishop of Hez Hezran. If you need help, stop by the dungeons. I have a few toys there that will certainly make your job easier. Well, merchant, you've wasted enough of my time. Got anything for the executioner? Here are the mask and costume of the merry executioner from Tianon. The butcher who disappeared off the face of the earth a few years ago? He was a devil. So devils dragged him under. He's sure to be dancing in hell as we speak. Poppycock! Piss off, or I'll give you a good lashing. How did the mask of the merry executioner from Tianan find its way to a merchant's stand? Look at it, Inquisitor! Beautiful, isn't it? vision. Why would Christ decide to send me one now? What is it he wanted to tell me? <laughs> What's with you, Inquisitor? You seem at a loss for words. I bet you'd like to buy the costume of the Merry Executioner for yourself. Absolutely not. I was first. Damned headsman. He paid with gold he got from a convict on the scaffold. I saw the wretch put a coin in his hand, begging for one clean cut. What do you mean? Didn't it take him three swings to behead the man? The butcher revels in cruelty. Supposedly, he lost his position as royal executioner. You're better off taking your own life than letting him lay his mitts on you. From where did you get the mask and costume of the Merry Executioner from Tiananmen? I knew him, so I know that he considered the Jester costume a shameful symbol of degeneration and brutishness, which is why he hid it. No one knew where. I... bought it, Master. Where? And from whom? Talk! An old lady sold it to me. One I met on the road, leading through the woods. I saw her dog digging out the Merry Executioner's outfit. I'd seen the man many times in the past, so I immediately recognized the mask. I paid a fair price for it. The scoundrel's hiding something. I can feel it.
luck, Inquisitor. I put your Silver Angel to good use. You bought a dog instead of food. I saw it at the stand with masks. The merchant's son was tormenting him something awful. I couldn't just ignore it. He looks like the mutt I saw in my vision. What's it called? Don't know. I haven't named it yet. How about friend? Yes, it suits him. <laughs> and I think he likes it. How about it, friend? Take good care of him, Scamp. Don't worry, Inquisitor. He'll be happy with me. Let's go, friend. I wasn't wrong. It's the dog from the vision. I wonder how it ended up at the merchant stand. Maybe I'll find out in the unworld. There's a needle hidden somewhere in the hay. You have to find it. You can use the tools that you see on the table. This task is utter nonsense. What should I choose? Alexander the Great didn't bother with untangling the Gordian knot. He just cut straight through it. Am I supposed to chop the hay with my sword? Have you gone mad? It's just a haystack, not your best friend. The sun's out. Use the... And what's your business here, eh? Off with you. Go on. Scam probably meant the magnifying glass. <laughs> she wasn't wrong. It'd be easiest to just burn this damned hay. There it is. to his vengeful. Fill my heart with the desire for vengeance. This is a good place for a journey to the Unworld. Father, what our king, bereave us of our weakness, lest we forgive those who trespass against us, and draw out evil from darkness, so we may vanquish in thy name. Amen.
showed me the mask. Amulet betrayed you. Should have sold me the mask and costume when I was asking nicely, witch. You're probably wondering how I knew you for a witch, hmm? Your amulet betrayed you. We'll meet again, Knave. I don't think so. Farewell, friend.
Some will drain my life force as usual. But first I'll have words with the merchant. Damn peddler light to me. He didn't buy that mask. You lied to me, merchant. You didn't buy the Mary Executioner's costume. You took it from the old lady that you burnt at the stake. How do you know all this? You can't hide the truth from an Inquisitor. Didn't you know that? Forgive me, Master. I didn't want to speak of it in front of my customers. They wouldn't buy my wares that they heard. She was a witch. A real witch. I did a good deed by killing her. You would have done the same in my place. Give back the Mandrake amulet you took from her. The Holy Office does not tolerate lynching. Only licensed inquisitors are allowed to sentence people to the stake, and only after a thorough investigation. You are not a licensed inquisitor, are you? Guards! Yes, Master? The merchant violated an inquisitorial prerogative. Take him to the dungeon. Leave me be! I haven't done anything wrong! She was a witch! Your fucking hands off my father, you scoundrels! Tell the punk to look after the stand, or I'll confiscate the merchandise to cover the costs of your trial. Do as he says, son. And don't worry, we'll see each other soon. Now that this is settled, I could use some wine. Have you heard anything about the vampire? My lord, I've heard talk of vampires, devils, dogs, and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Once, I even heard a tale of a dragon near Krakow that no one could vanquish until one drunkard came along and outdrank the beast. Supposedly, they went at it for the whole day and night. At dawn, the dragon was so parched that he immediately dashed to the river and guzzled so much water it made him burst. Folks talk of all things here, Inquisitor. And it's all nonsense. As that's all they can spew once they've gotten good and drunk. Is your wine any good? Finest Rhenish vintage, Master Inquisitor. Sweet as the body of a virgin, and strong to boot.
sure it's not diluted. By the nails and thorns, would I mix delectable Rhenish wine with water? Why, that would be criminal. I'd sooner cut off my own hand. That'll be five silver angels. Five? That's highway robbery. Rhenish vintages have gone up in price recently. Well then, drink it yourself. Blasted Inquisitors. It's always the same with that lot. There you are. Do you have the mask? I didn't find anything to my liking. Then we'll just have to think of something. Now come. You'll walk me home. On the way, you'll tell me why you were dispatched to Königstein. If it's not a secret, that is. It's not. Everyone will be talking- Mortimer, come here. Your queen waits. At it soon anyway. The Holy Office received news of a vampire prowling the town. I am to see if there is any truth to it. A vampire in Königstein? This is the first time I'm hearing about it. The Holy Office hears much more than ordinary people. So then, how do you intend to find it? I'll start with the inns. I'll listen to the rumors, ask around with the staff and the regulars. Then you should definitely stop by the Frisky Mermaid. It's the town's most popular inn. The fat innkeeper is likely to know about everything that's going on in Königstein. Let's get out of here. Stand behind me! Oh. Ah! <laughs> 
Damn robbers! Kill them! In the name of the Lord! Redcoats, like it! We are grateful for the rescue. You've arrived just in time. Such was God's will. Who were the assailants? I don't know. I didn't recognize any of them. I know that one from the harbor. Must have been part of that gang. We've been looking for you, mistress. The cardinal asks that you come to the cathedral post-haste. You? I don't know. Who are you? Mortimer Matadine. Licensed Inquisitor. In service to the Bishop of Hez Hezron. Forgive the insistence, Master Matadine. Welcome to Königstein. I shall inform the Cardinal of your arrival. His eminence is currently preoccupied, but he will certainly wish to speak with you later. Come to the cathedral between the first and second tolling of the bells for Vespers. It is the time of day when the Cardinal talks to worshippers. Do not worry about the bodies of these villains. The town guard will dispose of them. Tell the Cardinal that I will be there. Please forgive my brusqueness, Mortimer. This assault made me lose my composure. Sadly, I must leave you here. Duty calls. I'll see you tomorrow at the Mummers' Parade. Duty. And she works for the Cardinal. Good to know. They reek of rotten fish. That small-time ruffian had the same stench about him. Maybe he was working for them. The Cardinal's soldier mentioned a gang prowling the harbor. If I found their hideout, I could recover my sure skin. Hmm. It's worth a try. <laughs> 